before we officially start this reaction, we just wanted to say thank you because we hit a big milestone a few days ago. We finally hit 100 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who's been watching our videos and has subscribed to our channel. We could not do this without you all. Yeah, we're just super thankful. We started this channel because we love K-pop and it was actually a big reason that we bonded when we first met. We're just really happy that other people are enjoying what we have to say and are watching our videos. So we hope that you will continue to support and that we can continue interacting with you all through these videos and through comments. And we're looking forward to what we have planned in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Sun. Thirky Cross. Oh. Hi, my name is Anna. And I'm Peyton. And today, <laughs> what are we doing this early in the morning in our PJs? Today, we are embracing peak mother culture and we have woken up at 5 a.m. in order to support NCT Dream's comeback. Anna, tell me about how much you love NCT Dream, aka oh my God. our children. I love all of NCT and all of their units, but the Dreamies may perhaps be my favorite NCT unit. We have watched them grow up since their SM Rookie days and like Mickey Mouse Club when it came out. Oh my God, they have grown so much, it's crazy. So I have also loved them since their SM Rookie days, just like I have, I loved all of the SM Rookies and like Anna, I also love all of the NCT units, but I will unashamedly say that NCT Dream is and always has been my favorite unit. Oh. I just adore them. They are like my children. In 2015, I had no reason to be watching Korea's Mickey Mouse Club. But man, Same. when I watch it, it's Mickey Mouse Club. So Same. when Anna and I say they're like our children, we really feel like we've watched them grow up, like many of their fans. Mm. And that is why we thought it was so important to get up early and react to this video. And when so, I say early, I mean that when Anna first saw the video, it only had 21 views. So I wasn't watching any of the teasers. And then yesterday, Anna messaged me and said, I watched the music video teaser. So I also watched the music video teaser. All right, so here is our music video reaction to NCT Dream's Ride In. And Anna, I'll see you on the other side. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, bye. Go. My babies. Also, as I was opening the video up, props on USM. They have English subtitles on. Oh my gosh, they're so grown! <gasps> I'm so overwhelmed. They look so grown up. Oh my god, full sun. Oh my god. Hitchum has such a beautiful voice. Actually, they all like are so talented. Baby. <gasps> baby Jisun. Another baby. I'm sorry. Ooh, that was really pretty. Here? Honestly, I don't know how to feel about those fake piercings. Also, okay, Taemin's hair is like very reminiscent of like 90s K-pop, like H.O.T. style hair. Yes, baby Tsung. He's not a baby anymore. Oh, it's reloading. That makes sense because of the output. Why does Tano look younger than he did last year? Tano. Stop your baby. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, it's like the face piercing right here. Whoa. Okay, so the I'm just so overwhelmed. Everything's so good. The styling is so good. The dance is so good. Yoksi and CT Dream. Amazing. Which you are. You really are. We love a center team in. Basically, like, we're the best. Oh. <gasps> Full sun! I really like that. Riding and then the melody. Hit me preparing for this and kick it at the same time. And then also being on tour like the entire past year. <laughs> Dungeon's voice is beautiful. Oh. 
Oh my god. And oh! <laughs> Why do I feel like that part's really cute though? Oh, that higher har harmony at head and deep. So proud. Oh my gosh. We're back. Peyton, do you want to start us off? Yes. I have one comment. I am <laughs> devastated. <laughs> but I, no, I'm just kidding. No, so I will go ahead and say I already love the song so much. I am never, ever disappointed by NCT Dream. They're so talented and they always show a new side of themselves. And I feel like this was no different, even though, like you said before, it did have that similar vibe as Go. Just so many new sides of them shown. More helpful comments. I do want to go ahead and say, without harping on it, they look so grown up. And it's <laughs> not just how they look, it's the styling that they had. It's the aesthetic that was chosen for the music video, but they do look so much more mature. To me, I see them as like the Mickey Mouse Club kids or as the chewing ones gum. on the hoverboards and <laughs> chewing gum. Watching it, I just felt so proud. So some of the things that really stuck out to me in terms of more technical comments, the lyrics, and there were just so many where, especially if you know this, like what's going on with the dream unit and how this is like their last album before they reboot and they reload and they become the fixed flexible unit with the Dream 7 members. I feel like the lyrics are a lot more impactful. There's a lot of them being like, we're back, there's no more breaks on us, like we're reloading, now watch us world. One that I particularly liked was we break the record every time, which really stuck out to me. One, because NCT Dream is so like successful on their own right, but also because they actually broke their pre-sale record for like physical sales prior to that music video dropping. So I just felt like it was really impactful. The singing was beautiful, but I'm gonna let Anna talk about that more. Dancing wise, there were snippets of the dance, but I didn't get to see the whole thing. And NCT Dream dances are one of my favorite things to watch. So I'm really looking forward to either the performance video or the choreography video or just a live stage. But from what I could pick out, they complement each other so well. Like the word that most people use would be like their synergy. Mm -hmm. It's like electric, like it bounces between the members and you can see it, they really feed off of each other. And you can really tell, especially since Chewing Gum to now, that they have really developed their own performance style. Like the Dream performance style is different than the 127 performance style, than like the U performance style, than the Wavy performance style. And I think that that's really special that they have been able to cultivate that because they do have the same teachers and the same instructors that all of the others do. I really liked in the chorus, they did this like riding move and I liked the way that they emulated the we ride in and we roll in without it being too much like an interpretive dance. Like it was still really cool. And then another thing I really liked, and NCT Dream actually does this a lot. Well, a lot of groups do this a lot, but I really like it. Um, instead of being in a formation for like the last chorus or right before the last break dance, in the last chorus they do a line and it's like, we are one, we are all one level. But yeah, those are my comments. I love it. I love them. I am in peak mother devastation right now. <laughs> Is it my turn? Yeah. Let's start from the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. I mean, like, it did give me Go vibes from the teaser because, like, kind of grunge, all the neon contrasting with the dark and the aesthetic of the video. One thing that was kind of different about this in terms of song was, like, there's all those sounds in the instrumental that are, like, feel, 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 kind of like that. And it made it feel kind of futuristic. Because it reminds me of the sounds like an arcade video game, like the oh, space I ones. Video games. What's interesting about those songs that like kind of adds to this whole vibe is that those sounds never start on pitch. They always like fall down. And most of these went like, Ew, which adds to the whole vibe. Just to speak more on the song, like the singing, do I dare comment on the vocals of NCT Dream? Because they are so amazing. I feel like I am not worthy to comment. One thing that I've noticed, especially like as they do concepts like this, is that whenever the vocal parts come up, it's like very smooth sounding. There's actually this techno sound that I mentioned before throughout the whole song, except for when they have like the vocal parts that like Chan La, He Chan, Lun Jun Zhu. I've noticed that they do that because the three of their main vocalists have like very sweet sounding voices. It worked very well to be like the main theme of the song in like their debut days, but as they go into like these more mature concepts, I'm like a little bit, like rougher, it's difficult to have those like sweet higher pitches as the main theme of the song. So like it suits the breakdown very well. 
because it gives you more of those like R&B falsetto I'm so smooth vibes. The last comment that I want to make on the song that I explained to Peyton earlier was that their vocals ends the song on a half cadence. Ending on a half cadence basically means that they end on the five of the song. So if the key is in D flat, then the five of the song would be the A flat. Like you can end on a half cadence, like a lot of songs do, but following like the rules of like classical music theory, something feels off about it. Like there's a reason why it's called a half cadence. It feels kind of half empty, like something's a little bit missing, but the song itself ends on a perfect cadence. And a perfect cadence is when it ends on the one of the song, which is like the key. And the way that they're able to do this is they end with that boom sound at the end. And that resolves to a one, a D flat. Again, like the rest of the like techno boom sounds in the song, it goes down to it. So it goes like, do. I just thought that was a really nice touch. I can't comment on the boys rapping because they know nothing about rapping. I do feel like they've gotten a lot better at rapping. Mm. Especially Cheno at the end, when he comes in for his rap part, they have that shot where he like turns his head and looks at the camera and as soon as he starts rapping. Also, there's like that move that they do at the end for the last chorus where they like and then like the rest of the group starts doing it. And I thought that that was super cute when, I, when it first came up. I was like, why do they look so cute? They, they are cute. They remind me of like the Lost Boys and Peter Pan just following like do 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 through the forest. <laughs> and then they body roll and they lose that whole like can we not go there please so do you have anything else to say because i think i've said all that i can say without like rambling on forever about how much i love them and then going back to listen to this a bunch of times i don't think <laughs> i can say anything else either without just rambling i just love them so much they were worth waking up at 5 a.m for also you can hear the birds chirping on peyton's side now so sorry this was not happening when we woke up <laughs> Stan Talent, Stan NCT Dream. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.